I get it, guys. That's him. What the fuck? That's him. That's fucking him or that's a fucking coyote. It's a fucking coyote. Fucking coyote. Good size too. Let's go. He's not a joke either, dude. He's a fucking good size coyote. I've never seen a coyote that big. He made a strategic move to get the hell away as I kept coming, but then he stopped 40 feet away, 50 feet away, did a long double tape. Now I've probably lost him. He's fucking big too, dude. I hope you guys all saw that. That was a proper coyote. Wow. Dude. There's places I'm thinking about going where they're the coyotes used to howl when I was a kid on the full moon, a bunch of them. I might have to recalculate, guys. I am not looking to run into 12 of those that are fucking hungry way the hell out in the middle of nowhere. What the fuck? He was huge. I thought it was a fucking mountain lion at first. You know, the color is so similar and the size of his body. I was like, wow, this is a young mountain lion or a female adult mountain lion. Like, this is a large fucking beast. Marty just kept on going. Holy fuck. Dude, that was proper. So I wonder how if he's the main fucking culprit. You know, we know the animals are being killed down here regularly, including pretty good sized deer. Looking at that fucking hound right there. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. He can take a fucking fucking deer down. No problem, man. If that's what he's determined to do well I, I saw his power and his strength so he took off from me went through the creek and went up this fucking ravine dude he, he's got all the power needed to take down any fucking deer he wants if he's committed holy shit unfucking believable fuck me could it be him it could be him gnawing through those fucking skulls gnawing through the snout you know, bet your ass a fucking canine of that size has the canine teeth to fucking get that job done. Please, dude. He's on it. We found the beast. And maybe he doubled back. I had to go through this crap and I, I really lost track of him. He easily, just as easily could have doubled back. Let's keep going forward. Found some fucking barbed wire strands laying on the ground. Tangled me up a little. Damn it, I thought I had the lion though. I saw him and I was like, that isn't. He went that way. All that barking is in the direction he was going. He is fucking pissed off. Somebody's dog at their estate or something down there. Well, fuck, I gotta go that way, dude. Absolutely, he kept going. Then he's gonna double back because his dog's freaking out. He's gonna fucking run right into me. I'm tooled up just with a fucking Home Depot garden hatchet. Not a bad little tool, but uh, there's no firearm, there's no bear spray, there's no fuck all. We're on the fucking libtard San Francisco Peninsula. 
and in this county and many others in California, you can't just fucking go about armed with a fucking firearm. So I have to come out here, risk my ass, like this. got issues now too though. That dog is definitely waking people up. Fuck, I really don't want the cops. I don't want to have a cop situation, guys. Yep, I heard a door. What if they brought their dog in? I heard a door close. Fuck. See, I'm not just fucking trying to find and avoid predators. I'm also kind of trying to find and avoid people and cops. You understand? There's a fucking million variables. I kind of want to keep going and move out of here. But I know he's back there behind me, and I don't want to be fleeing, giving him my back like I'm doing right now. This is the fucker that's doing all this fucking killing, huh? Is that it? We know that the trail cam is for a mountain lion study group. We know the mountain lions come down here. But am I seeing such a preponderance of death down here because of that fucking beast right there? That is the most oppressive coyote I've ever fucking seen in my life. Like almost twice over. It's fucking huge. He's eating so fucking well, guys. This is where he was, this bastard. Oh, unbelievable. Holy shit. My God. I don't fuck it up. Nobody knows there's a beast like that out here. I was joking around a couple of nights ago, way up at the fucking reservoir in the goddamn mountains. I was joking around about the fog being reminiscent of the Hound of the Baskervilles, in which a large black canine is running around the moors of Scotland in a Sherlock Holmes novel. Fucking shit up. I didn't, I, I, I thought I'm on the trail of a fucking cat. My God, man. Okay, yeah, this is where we crossed. Good. Fuck, he crossed here. Just shot up this stuff like it was nothing. What the fuck? There's one. That's a deer. That's a deer. Oh. Oh. Come on, follow me. Let's get the fuck out of here, buddy. Seriously, I wish this deer would stick right on my ass. Look at that. That's the size deer. He, he killed one like that and one maybe a little bigger. Just no problem. We saw him. A fucking wild canid like that? You bet your ass. He went back there and freaked out those dogs and people and everything. Woke up the neighborhood there. I think on both sides of this creek with all that barking. The dog was smart to be barking. A fucking hellhound is fucking running loose out here. Fuck. Another deer. My God, no wonder that beast is fucking out here. <laughs> he was just about to take one of these two down. I probably disrupted his feeding. Yep, dogs have fucking superior hearing too. He's been dodging me. He's been out here when I've been out here before. He knows. He hears me coming a mile away and he gets the fuck out. 
This time I caught him slipping. It's right here. Where, where's that skull? Fuck. I don't want to spend a lot of time looking down there. I had my back to a fence like that. I came down. God, look at all this is washed away though. Fuck it. I think it's washed away. Or this isn't the right spot, but all this is creek debris. Like it really did rain properly. Shit. My God. What was I saying the other night up in the mountains about like relic animals? cryptozoological animals, animals that are way outside of the normal size range we're accustomed to rambling on about you how you never know what you encounter out in any kind of wild area at all in the middle of the night alone. You're alone. They're not all that scared of you. Half their mind is thinking I should eat this fucker. You know, it's not like a group of people where only a tiny fraction of their mind would be thinking that. Now yeah, they're like, here's one. One is what I like. One is what I kill when I eat. <sighs> fucking GoPro had better gotten all that. That was fucking legit. I followed through with my plan, too, of pushing forward. When I see something anomalous, I must go forward. That's what I did when I got stalked by the mountain lion a few years back. And, you know, I'm trying to get this fucking footage of it. You really have no choice, you know? Unless you want to stand there and see if he comes running at you. You know, I think you're much safer to start getting aggressive right away. And it certainly worked with that fucking hound. He was like, after a few seconds of looking at me and seeing me continue to come, he's like, uh, I'm out. He bailed. Fucking hell. Let's just stay high. Fuck that skull. It might already be gone. This can get really wild down here. If it really rains in a year where we have a lot of rain, oh my God, you'd be shocked to see the amount of water rushing through there. I probably wouldn't even be down here because half the trails would be gone or in the fucking drink. My God, he's proper. Yeah, it's him. Wonder if that's why I haven't found a mountain lion or the mountain lions haven't found me on this trail along the creek here. That fucking coyote might have really set himself up as a dominant force. He looked like a fucking wolf. He was so goddamn big. What the fuck? He's got it made down here. So I have a plentiful supply of youngish deer. Easy to take down. Tender flesh, easy to fucking consume. Fucking hell. Me, I just want to get the fuck out of here and get to the road. But I don't want to go back that way with my flashlight and whatnot. People will think... This guy with the flashlight is why my dog is barking. That all seems very suspicious. We've already been disturbed once. Maybe let's just go ahead and make a call, you know? And try to avoid that. Sadly, it's one of the many frustrating con constraints, parameters that are put upon my operation here, driving me fucking mad. But luckily we had those two kindly estate owners let me go right through their grand gate after the last Elon mission. I don't think there's gonna be an Elon mission tonight either. At this point. And quite frankly, I'm a little freaked out to have seen a coyote of that size. Up on those hilltops, like right where Elon's is, that's where they fucking congregate, where there's a bunch of them. I've been more scared of going up over a certain mountain right to the coast where I fucking grew up because across this big ass valley from where we were on the moonlit nights very often a whole fucking bunch of coyotes would be up there howling and howling howling and uh that's all quite primordial and mythical as pertaining to my childhood and uh 
you know, you think of coyotes, the typical ones you see are like half that size of that thing. No, I'm, I would be very concerned if a group of those bastards were getting aggro around me. I mean, wow, dude, that is fucking serious. Coyotes have been way back in my mind as, as potential threat. No, what I just saw, even one of them, if he wants to go for it, you got a real fucking problem. Shit. I don't have my neck protection either right now. I'm wearing the full face helmet. My God, I need to see this bastard on film. I thought for sure it was the mountain lion because his body was so long and he was tall. I was like, this is it, you know? 100% knew it was not a deer. And I was like, you know, 99.9% .9 certain, almost 100% that I was like, wow, I did it. Here's the fucking lion. And he stood there for a while. I got closer, got footage, got footage, got footage. Here's the fucking lion. Then when I got really close, I was like, holy shit. What the fuck? That's a fucking wolf or a big ass coyote. <sighs> we used to have grizzly bears and wolves in these hills not that long ago. You know, the last grizzly bear was killed uh, in the greater Bay Area. Uh, just like 110 years ago or something. Fucking nothing. Out here at night, you never fucking know what could be creeping around. Even though they say something's extinct or doesn't exist or doesn't exist within those size parameters or whatnot, who the fuck knows? <sighs> Holy shit, dude. No, I was not. I was not fucking ready for a fucking canine of that size. I was not competing that at all. Thank God I scared him off. I'm glad he was cautious and not demonically possessed and just determined to go fucking off. He, he decided wisely, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I share his sentiment completely. Wow. That's who's eating these fucking faces. The lions do it too, but it's got to be that fucker. He's impressive. He is fucking impressive. another estate over there no none of these people know there's a beast like that they all know there's mountain lions it can happen blah 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 but i i don't think anybody knows that there's a fucking canid of that size and power fucking going off out here <laughs> holy shit nobody knows more than i do i'm shocked the only people that would know that are the ones that run the mountain lion uh, game trail cam that's coming up soon <laughs> There's been more rain though. I cannot go past my waist. Yeah, then I'll go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that was deep. I was right at my groin. That's good though. That's deep enough to slow him down. That section of the creek he went through was very shallow. He just blazed right through it. It's a joke. <laughs> 